Hello, and I wanted to go through some of the photo editing terms by showing you how they work. We're going to be doing this in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, and I hope that will be helpful for you to understand. I'll do this on two very different photographs. This is a photograph that we have, uh, that I took when we were at the Hidden Villa field trip. You can see that I use narrow depth of field, and there's a both shadow and light. So the first control that we talk about on the handout on photo editing terms is exposure. And so I can change the exposure lighter, darker, and lighter. And so that's the first control I have. Now in this picture, I have quite a bit of contrast. So I might be tempted to go a little bit darker in the background to give it a richer tone. The next control is contrast. And you can really see whether it gets very, very, very gray or very black and white. That would be a different rendition of this picture. I'm thinking for this picture, I'm going to leave the contrast at zero. Now the next control is highlight values or shadow values. We have highlights and shadows. And in Lightroom, we also have whites and blacks. So the highlights, I can darken the highlights slightly. That will take the background down. And then I can lighten the shadows, which will bring our foreground a little bit more detailed. As you're looking at the picture, you may notice the blue. And so one of the things I might want to do is color balance it. So I'm going to take the eyedropper and use a neutral place and adjust the balance. Well, that seems too extreme to me, so I'm going to undo it and choose something else. Hmm. So I want the bird to be neutral. There actually is a little bit of color in the pole. If you don't use a gray card, that can, it can be challenging to decide what should be a tone or not a tone. Okay, so I've played with the shadows and the blacks and the contrast, and I've definitely made some significant changes in here. We can look also at saturation. We have clarity, vibrance, and saturation in Lightroom. Some, many places, just many of your programs will just have saturation. So I could give it a little more clarity a little bit more vibrance, but I really want to be careful with saturation. Saturation can get very strange. It's not the best way to make a black and white, but you can do a muted picture or you can do an overdone picture. Um, I tend to leave saturation on zero and just play with vibrance and clarity. The temperature is from blue to yellow. The tint is from green to pink. And just like before, I can take this, choose the breast of the bird, and have it self-adjust with that. If I can't do that, then I visually have to play with these. So those are just a few of the terms. Exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, clarity, vibrance, saturation, temperature, and tint that we have in the basic panel in Lightroom. And you'll find in different places, both in iPhoto and Picasa. So this is a good start on this picture. Let's look at the comparison. There's more I'll probably do to it, but it is a good start. Here's another picture I'd like to adjust. So here's where it started. Then I enabled the lens profile. Lens with Lightroom, you can do lenses. I did a crop angle. I changed the exposure. I decided that was bad. I changed the exposure again. I changed the exposure again. Nice thing about Lightroom is you can do that. I tried another contrast. I added a little bit of clarity. I cropped it a touch. I adjusted the color balance again. So now we can really see the change that happened between the original photograph and the final image. 
whatever software you use, experiment with the tools and get to know your, your tools so that you can make your photographs beautiful. Thanks so much.